What's up guys? It's Coach Sean with another workout, but this time we're outside. This is a backyard slash street workout. Hopefully you can find this in your backyard or somewhere around your neighborhood. All we need is a wall and a ledge. So right here, I've been lucky enough to find this wall and I'm gonna be using this as my ledge as well. So I'm gonna be cat hanging on the ledge right here as well as doing some wall runs. So we got a bunch of different movements and we're gonna get into it right away. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, first up is the wall run to Monkey Gate. We're doing 15 seconds on each side. So I'm starting out with my right foot on the wall and then monkey gating on the same side and then switching to the left foot. Remember to absorb those landings and use the monkey gate to disperse the momentum. Next up is the cat crawl. So remember, this is a quadrupedal movement, movement on all four limbs. We're going 15 seconds forward and 15 seconds backward. This is not a race or a fast crawl. This is slow and steady. So I don't want to see a lot of speed, but make sure that those movements are nice and controlled. Next up is the cat hang hold. If you can't find a wall around you, remember that this can be done on a tree or on a pole, so you can do a pole cat hang. We're just holding that cat hang for 30 seconds. This is engaging those arms as well as that core to stay nice and tight on the wall. So just holding for as long as you can. Let's go ahead and get to it. Next up is plyos. Now, I had limited space here, so I was going forwards and backwards. Um, when I reached the end of my parking lot here, I just did a little 180 and then continued into it. Remember, plyos are continuous jumps, so my arm chain needs to remain in the same pattern. Notice how my arms are behind me by the time I land to swing forward for the next jump.
right, guys, well, there you have it. That was our outside workout. Hopefully you were able to find that wall. If not, um, I'm sure you can find one in your neighborhood just around the corner. Just got to keep your eyes open. A lot about parkour is exploration. So having that parkour vision and keeping that eye out for those type of movements. If you did find that wall, you can easily make this workout harder by adding a cat hang climb up or a cat hang shimmy. Remember, you can also do wall stops. And if you're getting more advanced, you can add the wall flip or even inward side flip there are plenty of moves that you can do on just a wall alone and don't forget the ground is also an obstacle so these ground crawls these quadrupedal movements these are great movements to keep you in shape and keep those parkour muscles flowing all right guys we'll see you next time stay healthy and stay safe at home we'll see you peace out